Hachi machi, that middle class famous tour is in full swing, Gipperino. You ain't lying, fatty. It's a live comedy show. We play a little AYG with the crowd. Great way to introduce people Ooh. to the show. Bring the squad. Come out and see us. We're coming, baby. Yeah, gang, these tickets are selling quickly. Uh, so make sure you get your tickets. We're coming in. Uh, we're going to be Red Bank, New Jersey. Then we're going to Seattle, Ooh. Portland, all in August. Then in September, we're going Kansas City, Springfield, St. Louis. Then we're going down to Nashville, hitting Indy. Coming home to Philly, baby. The chicken's got to come home to roost. Yeah. Then we're hitting Providence, Rhode Island, up there to Beantown. Get those tickies. Let's go. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Oh, yeah. A little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find out that you're to be classy. Yeah. Or they're just a big old piece of trash. trash, trash I'm your trash, host, Tate Foley, coming at you on a sweltering day. Hot. Down here at Aunt Tootie's basement. I go into that broad's room. Uh-huh. She's got two fucking window units in there. Yeah. It's like a sheets in that place. Okay. I told her, fucking open the door, share the love. It's like a walk-in. Fucking pouring sweat in my room. I feel like I'm an episode of MASH. My co-host is coming at you from across the table. He is the CEO of RU Garbage. He is an international businessman. He is not to be trifled with in the boardroom or the bedroom. Uh, yeah. And he really stinks up the bathroom, I can tell you that. <laughs> Give it Potts. up for KJ, Kevin James Ryan. Hey, gang. Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe yes, over please. there on iTunes. Please. Full video available on YouTube. As you know, those numbers are... Trader Okay. Just crossed 80,000 of them motherfuckers. Love it. The Ooh-wee. army of garbage grows, and we love you, and we appreciate it. Getting new troops every day. What else? Is that it? Uh, Patreon.com oh, slash are you garbage. You sign up, you machi. get bonus content, and baby, it's going to be fucking flying off the shelf in oh, there. Oh, yeah. We do weekly episodes of AYG, weekly episodes of Hard Feelings, which is arguably better than AYG. <laughs> uh, and when we do, we just crossed our, we just did the Tootie Family Reunion, Dave and Busters. That should be out, out by the time this is out. If people Shout out. out. Fucking finishes it. <laughs> kidding. Uh, also, we got camping slot lined up. We're going to be going camping in two weeks. It's going to be a whole fucking thing. We got Check. Disney coming up, too. Disney, we had to reschedule Disney, but it's coming up. We got some other cool things in the works. Yeah, so do us a favor. Get over there to the Patreon. Check it out. It's a good time. And how about a nice quick shout out to our producer, extraordinary, very funny stand-up New York City comedian. Mm-hmm. We love him. You fucking love him. He crosses the T's. He dots the I's. He works the ones and twos. Give it up for T-Bone McMuffin. Toby McMullen, everybody. What up, dudes? What there up, you are, pal. Yeah, we're going to pop a fire hydrant or what, dude? Man, <laughs> it is something. hot as fuck. Summer in the city, baby. I'm going to fucking get myself arrested so I can cool off at fucking Rikers for a couple hours. <laughs> Three Jesus hops in a cot. Christ. Let's do it. This is fucking ridiculous. Uh, it fucking sucks, dude. It's fucking crazy out oh, there, man. Man. Sweating. Plus, you got to fucking beg the Uber guys to fucking turn the AC Take a real up. fucking chintzy with oh, it. Oh, you crack that window. It's fucking... They put the heat on. It's like, come on, I, man. I know. I'm trying to get the best of both worlds. I'm paying for premium. Uh, and like... I, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm footing the bill on you, fucking. I see you rolling around in a fucking Escalade like fucking like your Joe Biden. That you happened one me? time and it was a movie premiere and I wanted to impress my wife. <laughs> Are you in this? No, I'm not. <laughs> no, but I interviewed the guy who was in it. Uh, <laughs> List snubs you. <laughs> he signs my head. <laughs> Shout out to Joe List. And Shout Mr. out Louis to C. Joe K. List. He loved and, the movie. And that fucking feature film, Fourth of July. If you haven't seen it, do yourself a fucking favor and check it out. It's phenomenal. How many Ubers did you take in the past 48 hours? I would like to know. Because I don't I don't keep tabs. This is more hard feelings. I don't keep tabs on you. But there was a lot of, lot of, lot of Henry charges. Those up. records are sealed. I can't <laughs> okay. just fucking tell everybody that. What are you talking about? Toby, switch over to Patreon real quick. <laughs> Hit the switch. We switch over. Uh, uh, well, it we, was a couple. We'll, we'll say that. Let's tease that right. for hard feelings because okay. we're doing one after this, yeah, and it's you're, you're gonna, not you're not going to be happy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I solved the charges. I am not happy. <laughs> Ooh, I'm like Kylie Jenner fucking floating around. <laughs> Three-minute flights. <laughs> Did you have a helicopter in the Bronx? I wanted to go to the game. <laughs> I'm taking Blade back and forth to the uh, stair. Oh, no. It's funny, uh, funny, funny, funny. But um, we, uh, I went to uh, I went to. An, I don't go to a lot of events, right? I went, no. to, I went to a UFC event. 
Um, and uh, this was a dirtbag move. Did you win? <laughs> <laughs> TKO. <laughs> this is me versus a hot dog. Yeah, mustard all over me. Also, shout out to the fucking army of garbage that was in attendance, baby. Yeah? I mean, a UFC fight in Long Island is our demo, <laughs> by the way. But, you know, well, that's kind of... They hand you a belt. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this is what I... I didn't think of this, and we went with our good friend Brian, and he was like... Uh, shout out to B. Morton. He goes... So we get there, and he goes, you want? You know what you want to do? I go, what's that? He goes, we had already had really good seats. Tell him you're a cut man and get in the ring. <laughs> Yeah, but you brought your bucket, right, Kip? I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Sew up this pork chop real quick. See how good you are. And maybe we've met, I don't know, he said you get to your seats. Right. And then you pull out StubHub and see what's unsold so you can move closer. But you already paid for your seat. Yeah, but we were we have really good seats. Oh, oh, you mean not pay for the new seats? No, just, just no. see what's available. That way, you know no one's gonna come and sit there. Holy shit! And I was like, wouldn't they shoo you back anyway? What do you mean? Wouldn't the ushers? I come mean, and... we were on the floor, right? But like, they don't know where they just let. Once you're on the floor, it's kind of wherever you. I mean, oh, you really? have your seats, but like they're not checking every aisle. Okay. So like, if I if you look and be like, oh, the third row's open, you can just walk up. Fucking, yeah, we're seats 12, 13, and 14, and you know those tickets aren't sold. Yeah, they don't do that shit up in the Bronx, man. They'll fucking yank you out of there like a fucking high school kid. Yeah, Steinbrenner don't play. Though. No, yeah. no. Just trying to get close to Aaron Judge. But that's wasn't happening. That was like, holy fuck. I was like, that's a fucking solid That's move. nice. That's fucking sneaky. That's Did something you know I it? can get behind. No, I didn't have the ball. <laughs> I was getting recognized. I couldn't get thrown out at the same time. <laughs> you moved two. You moved two, three seats back, <laughs> just to be safe. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. All right, gang. It's a family episode. I'm sure. As you know, when you sign up for the old Patreon, there we answer your questions right here, live on the air, on the air, and we're gonna do that right now. Kevin James, <laughs> you got weird vibes, dude. You do. <laughs> you turn it into Regis real fucking quick. <laughs> we might have to turn the AC on. He's fucking overeating. Woo! Over Holy shit. Fucking yeah, and he windshield wiper fluid. <laughs> His brain's going to be bubbling in a Cooled minute. Cool me down a little bit. You ever pee in a radiator? What? No, I don't know. <laughs> Where did you grow up, dude? Never Is that even a day? <laughs> Never robbed banks in the 20s? <laughs> I mean, well, pee on a radio here. What's that get you? Because it's too hot. What? Yeah, you pee in it if you're out of water in the in the radiator. Oh, I what, you got in the house? I think you meant just for the weekend. I didn't know. <laughs> See, when the boys are fucking are letting loose a lot. I, I genuinely thought you meant like... The air conditioner on the side of the house or something. I didn't know. What no, he... but I have scratched those things on oh, the window. Body scratching the coils. Ooh, man, that's a good way to get Patty to give you a right hook. Yeah. Fucking so start scratching at that like a squirrel. I got yelled at, and then I'm like, that shit doesn't fucking matter. You got yelled at. I think it does. It, doesn't. it seals something up. No, it doesn't. Feels real good. Yeah. It doesn't. Uh, yeah, you used to put like, you use your thumb to put your initials in yeah. there or something. It said KJR. My mom's like, you cocksuck. I'm like, it wasn't me. I swear. <laughs> For a good time called an East. <laughs> piece of shit. Ah, that's good uh, stuff. Yeah, shout out. That's uh, That was a fucking great pastime. Mm -hmm. You know what else I had in the front of our house? We had that big green humming box. The fuck was like in that? The, the, I don't know, like the big green power box. I, don't, I still don't know yeah, what it is. Yeah, that's new neighborhood shit. It's a transformer. Yeah, that's Robot new neighborhood stuff. Kippy in disguise. <laughs> <laughs> Fat little shit sitting on the couch. Not playing sports or scoring with chicks. He sits there and watches the I show. Mean, well, how old was I? <laughs> if, I was in, if I was eight, it'd be weird if I was scoring with chicks. He could be laying some groundwork out there, <laughs> pressing the flesh a little bit. How you doing? I'm Kippy. In three years, I'm going to want to fuck you. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was new neighborhood shit. You saw that shit in the neighborhood. I got jealous. That and retaining oh, ponds. Man, you really said in your... The retaining ponds was a sign of a, of a wealthy neighborhood. It's a sign of a basement. No, a basement. I'm talking about in the neighborhood. Sure. There's I thought it had to do something with basements and flooding and like the water table or something. I, I knew we couldn't afford it. I can tell you that. <laughs> you guys couldn't afford a hole in the ground? Fucking sump pump city over yeah, we used Foley's. To go, I, we used to go swimming in them That's... In, a, in a big flood, but you would just have to stay away because that hole, that fucking... That hole from it was in there, the sewer. Catch the whirlpool. Oh, man, that all fucking... We used to get inner tubes and boogie boards and shit. End up in Haiti. <laughs> <laughs> I get spit sewer. out. I got... <laughs> 
I got a pina colada in my hand and a, and a sombrero on. <laughs> Sunglasses are all fucked up. Hey! The fuck? Yeah. Talk about margarita. Hey, give me! <laughs> Yeah, that's like the upside down. That was fucking frightening. I remember doing that at the time, being like, we shouldn't be doing oh, this. Oh, 100%. Anytime we had a strong rain. Uh, Hurricane at- season. It was like having a pool in your backyard, <laughs> dude. dude. We were fucking partying. We had the creek over at Townline Townhouse. Now, did you call it a creek or a crick? Uh, crick is the trashiest word in the Eng- it's not in the di- trashiest word in america is crick a crick down the crick now we crick. said creek i think yeah we were i we, I, I, I coin flip we did fish for uh little crawdads though they were everywhere mm-hmm. couldn't eat them but still pick them up and play <laughs> i tried with them. <laughs> still pick them up and play with them crawdads yeah bluebell pennsylvania i'm telling you we had these little tiny lobsters that were in the creek I'm t- i swear to god man okay. little fucking jimmy johns you fucking pick them up and hold them up stick them in a girl's face fucking throw them back but that thing would flood. It ran down the whole side of the property, and then it, it, it hit a road <laughs> and had the, the the sewer that went in there. Sure. There was a grate on the other side that would, like, catch leaves and shit. Or fucking Little Timmy oh, if he gets dude, sucked in there. If you went in there, it you was fucking, yeah, start splitting up the baseball cards. <laughs> <laughs> he, he ain't gonna I need, get the huffy. <laughs> he ain't going to need it where he's going. Yeah. Yeah, it was fucking frightening. And it would, like, proper fucking flood and have a strong current. Mm-hmm. And we'd be in there fucking swimming. Not to mention what kind of fucking Diseases. chemical runoff yeah. was in there. Yeah. Fucking crazy. Strikes in your immune system, though. Yeah. But never in a retaining pond. Oh, yeah. You were gentlemen. You were yeah. in the crick. Well, we didn't the, have that kind the, of money. With the bluebell lobsters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking scumbag. <laughs> Couldn't eat them. I saw a lady swimming in the East River the other day. I'm so upset. You're not a lot. I'm going to do it. I'm so fucking mad. It's so hot out right now. And we're on an island. And you can't. This is hell. This is what hell is. I, I was thinking about that when we were in Staten what Island. What the fuck? One time I jump in the Hudson, it's going to kill me? What about Sully Sullenberger? Those guys were all right. It was in the middle of winter, too. He was. They weren't swimming, though. They I'm were sure they got little... wet. They got wet. They got wet. They took a shower afterwards. They, they weren't carried... tubing. It's not... Still, I'll hold my nose. Put a cork in my ass. I don't think... <laughs> <laughs> Why? That's how it's the weekend. <laughs> That's how the eels get in there. <laughs> If you pay him enough. You wouldn't be afraid of something going up there? Yeah. In the East River? Anywhere. No, the East. Oh, yeah. I'm always scared but of that stuff. Co- oh, by the way, good luck getting me in the fucking ocean with all these fucking shark attacks doing drive-bys and shit out in fucking Long Island. It's fucking insane. Yeah. I'm out. Mm-hmm. I'm out for good. Okay. Till climate change really takes it all away, I ain't going in the Did water. we talk about this? We might have mentioned it on a, on a Patreon episode. Okay. But sorry. there's been more attacks. And I'm not fucking doing it. You're never going in the ocean again? Never going in the ocean again. Okay. No. And I don't know about lakes either. Damn, this is nuts too. And I have this picture and I'll try to find it. It was always it was always folklore of my uncle was out fishing. Shout out to my Uncle John. My Uncle John was out fishing and they caught a... Wrestled an orca? <laughs> no, they caught like, I think a shark. Like another shark, like a, you know... Small fucking tiger shark. They caught a big fish, which I believe was a shark. I forget. Or like a marlin or something. And they have it at the back of the boat, right? Mm-hmm. And they're like, you know, they, they gaffed it. It comes up. You fucking hook it. And you're like sitting there. And those things are tough to get on the boat. So you, like, they're all, you always drag them for a little bit once it gets to the boat. and Tire them out. They're sitting there fucking taking pictures of it, right? Like old school like film picture, like a disposable camera or something. And as he's taking a bunch of pictures a fucking great white comes up and eats it. So you see it like kind of come out. I saw all the pic. I posted them on Facebook somewhere years ago. Cause this, and I never fucking believed it. And then they were like moving or something. He goes, here are these pictures. And it's literally a great Call me white. a liar, you little pussy. <laughs> yeah. You fucking bald headed 12 year old. Yeah. Fuck that. I come out and eat and the whole fuck. It was, it was, it was just like the head of the fucking Marlin or whatever. It was. Ooh, no. Oh, see, yeah. I'm you know telling where that you, man. Was? Where? Blue Bell Crick. <laughs> <laughs> Home of Be the careful out there, Patty. Pennsylvania lobster. <laughs> yeah, man. Fuck all that shit. I ain't doing it. There's something going on. I don't know if it's climate change, whatever it is. Yeah. They're getting ballsy. They're coming in close. I know, but what? There's how- something with the fresh water and the rainwater and the this and the that, and I'm out. Yeah, but how many people swim in the Atlantic Ocean a day? It doesn't matter. It does. Have millions? Millions of people, no, I would argue. not millions. How many people? What? A couple hundred. It's millions of people going the Atlantic Either way, Ocean it's, a day. Look how many shark attacks there's been in, in, in the last uh, it's literally, month. It's, yeah, it's still like one out of 
how many people swim in the ocean? Hundreds of millions a month. Doesn't matter. And if there's one a month, that's one in a hundred million. It's going to keep getting worse. They're going to be coming on land soon. As soon as they can start driving, we're in real start trouble. Start sticking you up, steal your wallet. <laughs> start hacking. <laughs> but the East River and the surrounding water of Manhattan has always bothered me. I saw a family swimming in the in the Hudson one time, like playing. Like the kids had like rubber duckies and That's stuff. That's dangerous. I it, know. It's the current. It's not the pollution. Although I think GE did a little number on the Hudson River in the 70s. No, it's the, it's, well, the, the pollution is you're not allowed to eat crab. You're only allowed to eat like six crabs a month out of the East River. That, dude, if you're eating fucking crabs that have a limit on it like that, dude, switch to the fake stuff. It ain't that bad. Yeah. That's nuts. Or go Maryland blue crab. Ooh, shout out to them. Go down to the Chester River there. <laughs> a little bacon. Pull them right out. What? Num, 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 num. That's what they eat on. Give them bacon. You give crabs bacon? Yeah, you put it in a little cage I've, and put I've, it down there. No, that's real dirtbag shit. What are you using? Bunker. What's bunker? Bait fish for crab. Nah. Nah, use bacon. Where do crabs eat bacon? Oh, are they the- going to the diner? What What are you talking about? They've only had bacon because you've given them bacon. It's, yeah, that's why they'll eat anything. Love it. It's meat. Oh, there you go. Get the, ma- get the maple fucking <laughs> syrup, chum. Is it cut? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they got that Canadian shit today. <laughs> <laughs> Go back. It ain't worth it. <laughs> You're not using enough holiday sauce, you dickhead. What are you doing? No, the currents in the East River uh, are really bad because the water is like fighting each other. It's fresh water and salt water mixing together. But that's further down, right? I think it's all around the island. I think no, it, no, they no. Suck the you out to sea. <laughs> Plus, they got them tankers out suck there. Suck you off. Uh, As of July 20th, there have been 49 shark attacks in 2022. That's nuts. Six fatal, eight provoked. The, the provoked? Rest- <laughs> so pussy? <laughs> what are you, a nurse shark? <laughs> you, you even have teeth? Hey, your mom's a hammerhead, dork. <laughs> Fuck you say, pussy? Yeah. Get out of here. Provoked? Who's what the? Talk about walking around in a bad neighborhood. I was hanging out on coral reefs. I went to an ATM. I shouldn't have. (laughs) Two of them were UPS guys, (laughs) just trying to do their job. Dude, what the fuck, man? Six fatal. Now, dude, six out of a hundred million people that have gone swimming. And that number might be inflated, but forty million people have swam in the fucking. Think about how many people are in Wildwood alone. Sharks don't go there. Yeah, all Sharks dr- don't eat poor they're people. All dr- yeah, they're all drunk. <laughs> then there's no meat on those legs. <laughs> End up catching herpes. Everybody's, but- everybody's on dialysis and shit. <laughs> but it is crazy that we haven't built something in Brooklyn on the water on the shoreline or in Manhattan on the shoreline where y- you swim in the river, but you block it out. I think it's pollution. Is it? I think so, man. Because in Hawaii, they have these fucking man-made they have, coves. Yeah, they have those everywhere. Yeah, I mean, like, you, you go to, like, the DR or somewhere, they have, like, they have it not at all, so the fucking sharkies don't it's get It's still in there. scary, though, man, no, when you get in there and look. They get through. They're what we call in the biz a pussy. They get through. Yeah, I don't like that. They don't stuff. get through. Yeah, they do. It's, no. They jump at night. That fucking deep blue sea where they smash the fucking window. <laughs> when did that, that happen? That was a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Hello Cool J. <laughs> Did he make? He didn't make it in that, right? He was the only guy. Spoiler alert: He was the only guy to make it. Him and the parrot, I think. Because he didn't do too him good. And, him the, and the white guy who looks like uh, every other white guy that is, was in those movies. He didn't do too good in Anaconda. That was Ice Cube. Oh, the snakes it? out there is big. Yeah, one of my favorite lines he ever. Didn't, he didn't make it. Ice Cube. Yeah, he did. He survived. Have you seen any movie? I believe him and J Lo made it. <laughs> okay. John Void, on the other hand. Yikes. He had it coming, though. Goddamn LeBaron. He was looking for trouble. <laughs> Provoking. He no. got eaten. He got right And in then the opened face. up, right? He was in it alive. It like They cut open the snake, or it spit him back up, and he was alive. Did he eat him again? I think it was a documentary, right? No, you <laughs> fucking... I'll watch that again tonight. My summer viewing. Uh, all right. Let's get into... So it is... I mean, I'm sure this is a hacky premise, but it is fucked up they run Shark Week in July. He had to scare everybody. Yeah, That's why? Who but who's, who's doing that? Big Shark? I don't get it. They want, because they... <laughs> it's like, you're, 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 the you're, Shark Lobby? Who, who, nobody who wins gives, for nobody that? Nobody gives a fuck about sharks at fucking after Thanksgiving. 
You got to fucking do it when people are fucking scared. That's why they tune in, because they want that fear. Kip, let's talk about that Manscaped. Manscaped, best in the biz. Best in the biz. The only in the biz, I would for say. For below the waist grooming. Uh-huh. Here's, a, here, here's a bombshell I'm about to drop on you. Hit me. Are you familiar with the new Platinum Package? Ooh. What are we doing? The 4.0 Platinum Package. They got it all. Yes. Uh, the lawnmower 4.0 body trimmers included. The what? weed whacker nose and ear hair trimmer, what? which a lot of you bozos need, by the way. Need some clippings. Uh, it features pri- pri- pr- 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 something word I can't pronounce. Advanced skin safe technology to protect your delicate parts and all. Proprietary. Yeah, I got caught up in a moment. Both Bozo. are waterproof, so you can shave in the shower. There you go. Or in the pool, like me. <laughs> uh, don't forget to reply. They're aluminum free. That's big. You don't want to get those. Uh, you don't want to get cancer. Aluminum free. No. Ultra premium deodorant. You don't want cancer, do you, dickhead? <laughs> also, wrap your head in tinfoil. Uh, deodorant for that cologne quality scent on the go. This isn't your daddy's Dracar Noir, baby. This is real nice, subtle, got, but good. I got their body wash that I've been going through in the shower. Fantastic. They send us delicious. all the stuff. I got shirts. Yeah. I got undies. I got it's body right. wash. They're the best. They're Shout the, out to Manscaped. They're awesome. The Platinum Package 4.0 covers all of your bases from head to toe. Get 20% off. Here's the Woo. turkey, baby. I ain't talking 510. I'm talking 20% off and free shipping with code garbage at manscaped.com. That's 20% off. With free shipping at manscaped.com. Use promo code GARBAGE at checkout. It's time you enjoy the finer things in life. Mm-hmm. Do it. Kip, let's talk about Bespoke Post. You mean that goddamn box of awesome? Woo! <laughs> Summertime, grilling season. <laughs> you want cool stuff? You want to look cool when you're outdoors? When you go hiking, you want to look like a bozo? City slicker? No. Yeah. You need cool shit, cool gear. You got to have a cool pocket knife. You got to have a cool compass. You got to have cool grooming stuff, cool grilling stuff. Cool stuff for the house. The box of awesome has it all. Do yourself a fucking favor. Yeah, guys. Uh, to get started, take the quiz at boxofawesome.com. Your answers are going to help them pick out the right box there you go. for you. There you go. Uh, they release new boxes every month across a ton of different categories. Each box is valued at around $70, but you only pay a fraction of the price. Uh, plus, with Box of Awesome, you're supporting small business. 90% of everything that comes in your Box of Awesome is from a small, up-and-coming brand. Best thing, it's free to sign up. You can skip any month or cancel at any time. Call to action, baby. Here we go. The turkey. Get Let's 20% go. off your first monthly box when you sign up at boxofawesome.com. Enter the code GARBAGE at checkout. That's boxofawesome.com. Code GARBAGE for 20% off your first box. Boxofawesome.com. Promo code GARBAGE. Now back to the show. Back to the show. Uh, all right, guys, as the big man stated, this is a family episode. We yes, answer sir. your questions from the Patreon, your garbage questions. Uh, we get a shit ton of submissions, email, fucking DMs. I mean, somebody knocked on my door the other day and was like, hey, is it garbage to fucking shove mayo up your ass? I said, fucking, hey, mailman, get out of here. Uh, but the Patreon gets first crack at it. This one, very on topic. Well, we're the king of segues over here. It yes, just sir. naturally happens. This one's from Scotty B. Have you Scotty ever, B. Have you ever smoked a cig in the ocean? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I don't think I have. I've definitely done the lake and probably the bay. I don't know if I've ever done in the ocean. Sandbar, Kaneohe Bay, Oahu, Hawaii. Oh, all right. Fucking ripping heaters and sucking down White Claws. Okay. And eating these Korean barbecue ribs, these little little half ribs that have these little... The Sounds little, like you're at a restaurant. I'm not going <laughs> to lie. <laughs> Cook them right there on the pontoon boat. Yeah. They throw them out to you. Then you throw the little bones into the water. Let the let the turtles get it. They love it. But you know what that does? It's out the shark. <laughs> yeah, here we go. We're full circle. It is the smoker's dream to have that really good. Like you're like I'm doing something relaxing. I should also do this. Right? A, like a you he- double it up. A heater in a pool. Heater is, in a pool is all right. Dry in your hands. Ah, oh. but it's they're they're never dry enough. You're like you, you know. I go when I go into Patty's pool. I, I keep my arms up and I go. Over, <laughs> I, I go over to from the, the windows. <laughs> wow! I walk in there like a surgeon, fucking, and then set my little stuff up over there on the side there on the side rail. I yeah. Put the umbrella up, fucking <laughs> rip heaters. Yeah, sigs sigs in a pool, good. You can't throw it in the ocean though. That's a bad look. Okay. Ripping a butt, fucking, bing, flipping it. We yeah. Then they find turtles and shit with fucking a half a pack of Paul Malls in them. I'm not condoning this, but in the '90s we littered a lot off of boats. We and just it, didn't know better, and we were told that salt dissolves it or eats it or whatever. Really? Yeah. I mean, there was no scientist on board, but 
<laughs> Bill Nye wasn't wasn't the captain. You're throwing old bikes out there. No, of course, of course wreaths. you would rip a Coors Light. You rip the Coors Light can. Throwing beer cans in the ocean. Yeah. Check to see if that dissolves. What are you fucking? No, it doesn't. Are you sure? No. I Salt mean, eats everything. Maybe over 30 years. Whatever. Holy shit. That's it's nuts. It's kind of like we used to go deep sea fishing too, like way out, way, way, like fucking. Oh, I mean, out there. Uh, that's what I'm saying. I mean, I wasn't I wasn't doing it in the pool. Fucking. How long does it take for a Coors Light can? Oh. Uh, aluminum, whether in a can or a cooking utensil, is protected by a thin aluminum oxide coating that adheres very strongly and is extremely resistant to dissolving in seawater. Yikes. These were different cans. <laughs> <laughs> I said tuna cans. <laughs> We'd rub the aluminum off. <laughs> What's this? I heard about you breaking a rake and throwing it in the woods. No. What's that? For? The rake was broken, so I returned it to its home. Uh, Billy Madden, or er, Happy Gilmore. But we used to go out. You go, you would, it would freak you. It's real eerie. You get out there. I'm talking like, you drove for like four hours out. Four hours? Yeah, you're out there. Out in like the canyon. The Great Continental Canyon, or whatever the fuck they are. Elephants, Tusk Canyon or something. You're like, like out that. there. So it's like the continent. So it's like whatever. And then drops to like, you know, I like a million fathoms or something. Like it like, to like. Ooh, you RF Buckley? Uh, fathoms. ER. What are you talking about? I'm an article man at the end of the day. Um. <laughs> And you troll His along. His forehead was 40 fathoms. But that's also like the inner coast way or whatever. So what are they, no, the inner coastal waterway is not that far out. I know, but whatever. The jet stream. Whatever, everything meets there, kind of. So it's like the water's coming up from Florida, so you just, everywhere, like, there's just, pulled, like, shit. There'd be, like, a baby doll's head, and it's, like, real fucking, there'd be, like, a fucking just wild shit floating out there's no there. water slides down there? <laughs> You're, like, looking around, like, what the fuck? Dude, oh, yeah. like, four hours out. Yeah. Man. Mm-hmm. That's you're done. Something happens out there. Yeah, I mean, what do you mean something happens? I don't know. A fight on the boat. Well, I mean, you, <laughs> no, I mean, you have like radios. If and the shit. boat went down, four hours. I got the. I know, four but hours? they have one of those like fucking. You know, they it got looks the like chopper. A, it looks like a duffel bag. You fucking. It looks like a duffel bag, and you pull a string full of, full of weed. <laughs> full of yeah, a little fucking. Uh, it's not uh, little, but it pops up and it holds like eight people for like boat. eight days. With you know what? Lifeboats are sweet. The ones on the cargo ships, they're like they look like little submarines. Okay. The one that Captain Phillips was in at the end. Ooh, those things are nice. Yeah. That I wouldn't mind. I just watched that documentary on Pearl Harbor. Yeah. Ooh. What talk, happened? Talk about a mix-up. <laughs> Jeez. A couple guys dropped the ball over there. <laughs> it was a lot. They're like, I saw 78 planes coming in, but I thought it was something else. They're like, what do you mean something else? <laughs> I thought the air show was starting. Yeah, what the fuck are you doing? The Blue Angels? Come on. <laughs> Fucking taking heavy artillery fire over here, Johnny. <sighs> fuck that. Four hours out at sea. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah. Uh, you really find out who you are, especially the guy who's driving, you know, a little sure. up, but there's nothing to hit out there, so you're pretty good. <laughs> Except for baby doll heads, <laughs> yeah. I don't like that. Okay. You know, you could find you see out like there. propane tanks floating and shit, like it, like just like tra- like a wild amount of trash. Jesus. Yeah, that sucks. well, there's that thing, the Trash Island off the coast of fucking uh, Burr's always ranting about it. You ever looked that thing up? Yeah, it's pretty wild. Yeah, it's ugly. I, I would say the worst part about getting on a boat is when you get the extra life vest from underneath, and it's all beer stained and, and moldy, w- cold and wet. Mm-hmm. I don't mind that. Cold and wet. What? Did you already go down once? No, it's, it's a, everything on a boat is like in those like fucking storage containers and holes and the holes. I feel like those things kill you, the life vests. I'd want to be loose. I'd love to. <laughs> I'd like to do the mashed potato yeah, if I need to. I, I wouldn't let that like squeezing my neck, holding me up. I feel like you're just like a fucking olive floating in a fucking martini for a shark to get you. I want to be able to stick and move. At least give me a fighting chance against them. What? I, I can wade. No, you couldn't wade for more than 10 minutes. That's not true at all. I'm very buoyant. Someone. Yeah, someone just did this though. I think like Barstool just did it. The guy lasted like like it's like wildly hard. Really? Yeah, you you have to use, you constantly use every muscle in your body for that whole time. Hmm. All right. Yeah. Anywho, uh, this one's from Shane. Is it garbage if my girlfriend's father still cuts her hair? He's a retired doctor and she's twenty five. What the fuck? That's something. Does she have a bowl cut? <laughs> something's weird with that. That's weird. Hey, it's weird you're dating abroad with a high and tight. You know? <laughs> One on the sides and three on the top. 
That's nuts. Yeah. How could he do a good job? I think it's more sexual. It's just I'm not sexual, but emotion something. That's weird. That's there that's a weird bond. Mm. That's a weird connection. Patty cut my hair once or twice. And I cut my own one time. Yeah. That was that for that. I t- I told you I got my I had my made my mom put a number one in the back of my head one summer. Because <laughs> I was number one. <laughs> she did a pretty good job, I gotta give it to her. She freehanded the whole thing on the deck. That's yeah. crazy. Damn, dude. Fucking, that's weird. That's, yeah. You should knock that. What is she, I mean, she, if she must have some, like, real basic kind of haircut. He's not, like, fucking giving her a blowout and shit like that, <laughs> putting color in. Uh, yeah, maybe she's I not. mean, if he was a retired salon owner, okay, but a fucking pediatrician or whatever. Mm-hmm. Man, that's fucking, that's garbage. Yeah. Also, like, I, I, I don't know, you know. I feel like that's also with the women. That's a big, uh, you know, that's where, a big do, deal. Who does your hair? Let's go. Oh, oh my you use God. Tiffany. I go to Marco. Blah blah blah. blah you know, it's expensive as shit. And you're too. like, I, my dad does it in the garage. You're like, what the fuck? Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, those those ladies' haircuts are fucking really something else. Two, three, four hundred dollars. Fucking highlights, this and that, blow dry, snip, mm-hmm. cut, fucking braid ends, whatever. Mm-mm. You know, I always wanted somebody to do, or I guess I always wanted to do, like you get like the straight razor and like thin it out. Yeah, I have that. I get that done. Really? Yeah. Whoa. I get that Can done. Can I do it? Patreon. <laughs> Come on. Let me do it one time. You slice my throat. <laughs> you, you never loved me. <laughs> Fucking Sweeney Ryan over here. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hitting my carotid. I'm out. Kippy Todd. Uh, that, those are pretty good videos. What? Where they where they have somebody in the barber chair. Oh, let me burn it. Let me let me do like the Get the fuck out of here. Those Middle Eastern dudes doing fucking tighten you up. Nah, what am I? Come super on. fucking super cuts in Mumbai? Are you <laughs> fucking nuts? No, nah, we're not doing that. Why? No, but when when they have the guy close his eyes and they and they're shaving his neck and they pretend like they cut him oh, with a straight mean. razor. That's oh, mean. Oh, the guys always pass out. It's awesome. Yeah, what? And they freak out. They're like, "Oh my god." Oh, oh, I that's fucking... a good time. That you could do, but you're not setting my hair on fire. I mean, you would know if I did it then. Yeah, exactly. I'd, I'd still be able to convince you I killed you, I think. <laughs> Uh, uh, all right, good. let's see here. This one's for Matt C. Shout out to Matt, who I recently uh, just met. Have you ever taken someone else's cash tip that was left in the bar and passed it to the bartender as your own tip? That's a dirtball move. I wouldn't call it dirt. What are you, somebody else's? What? Yes, that's stealing. Oh, uh, what are you, a saint all of a sudden? I'm not doing that shit. Doing what shit? It's fucking stealing somebody's tips and passing it off as my own. And what this? I guess that guy screwed you. Here you go. Yeah, it's that guy's problem. Nah, that's fucked up. That's not even garbage. That's trash. Yeah, next question. <laughs> Have you done that? Yeah, I've done that. I've been a poor alcoholic. <laughs> I. But I tell you I, what. I've done it not too bartend, long ago. Bartenders catch you doing that. They're fucking fuming. No, all right, I did it not too long ago. I remember a couple of guys fucking fucked up uh, at Martell's when I used to work there, taking tips off the bar, and the fucking bartenders... Taking tips off the bar is different. I would never take a tip off the bar. It's still the same thing. No, it's not. I mean, it's no, up it's there. It, it's you're. I'm just tricking you to think I tipped and that guy didn't. There, I didn't touch the money. I didn't do anything. You're still theoretically taking their money. No, 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 no. Because you're no. not giving your share. I'm, mind fr- I'm setting an illusion. That that money was mine. That's different. Take it from behind their ear. <laughs> Is this your quarter? <laughs> uh, I did. I was at a comedy. I was at a comedy. I was working. I was poor, man. What do you want from me? And the somebody had left like a 20. He paid with a 50 and left a 20 or something. And I was eating and drinking. That's 10 for me and 10 for him. <laughs> <laughs> that was my dad, One by bill. the way. <laughs> Next thing you know, I'm on stage. I forget I, I forget exactly the mechanics of it, but he thought I had left it for him. Ah, and he, and he hooked goes, you up. I remember this. Thank you so much, man. Holy shit. And hey, I just did, doing it my part, buddy. Like, it took me a half a second, you know? And I was like, uh, you've been working hard. Take it. You know what I mean? That's for you. I did that. You know what? Give me five back. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Can you break this for me? Yeah, give me quarters. Man. Three of that's for you, okay? Uh, um, I did pull the move at Dave and Buster's, though. Uh, that, here we go. That guy had a bucket out. The bartender had a bucket. Yeah, how did you tip that guy? 
I didn't. I said we'll take care of it at the end. I assume you 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 whacked him at the end with the card. I'm not gonna lie. I was, yeah, I did. No, he did. Okay, he did. He's like, there's a tip on that already, and I tipped him fifty cash when we got there. Nice to there make you him go. play ball. Yeah, I didn't want to, but it was all I had from spot pick. There you go. Yeah, and I said here that's for you, and then he was Johnny on the spot with the bud. Johnny lights. on the spot. Yeah, he was um, all right. And then he's like, there's an eighteen percent tip included. Nice. So there you go. Yeah. Okay, cool. But I thought I would take care at the end. I had no cash on me. Yeah, it's real dear. I mean, you were wearing basketball shorts. <laughs> it's real dirtbag shit. <laughs> my wallet's in my suit. I apologize. Um, this one is from Rabia Ali, Rabia. Uh, first time, long time homie. Do you call it ground beef or hamburger meat? <laughs> <laughs> Hamburger meat, dude. Yeah. All day. I'm a hamburger meat man myself. Uh, get some hamburger meat. I told you upstate they call it Hamburg. Get there's some Hamburg meat in there. Yeah, that's hamburger fucking. Hamburger meat. Yeah. Hamburger meat is that sitting sounds in sounds like a... you can't read. <laughs> <laughs> it literally sounds like that. That's like someone who's just moved here and is learning the language and has to like. Piece. That's how I feel like I sound when I go to another country and I can like piece together what you I call want. pork pig meat. Yeah, <laughs> some pig meat. Uh, oh yeah, Hamburg hamburger meat was fucking brought out of the freezer before mom went to went to work. She put it in a fucking silver bowl, half filled with water in the sink, and that's where it sat until she I came home after to, she left to make my hamburger helper. Yeah, shout out to the stroganoff flavor. Delicious. Mm. Just me and Patty. My brother was off at school. My dad was on the road. We were talking about this the other day. We somebody had brought up hamburger helper. God damn! And then there's other helpers, correct? Yeah, tuna, which has tuner. to be that's the tr- like turkey helper or something. Turkey helper is okay. Tuna, tuna you know, helper. I would, would be argue the shittiest. any deviation. Hamburger helper is shitty. I'm not saying it's not good. It's not a fucking Michelin star product, right? Okay. Then you're, you're, they might have won one year. You're, you're, it was runner up. You're watering that down with turkey helper, <laughs> fucking tuna helper, chicken helper. Tuna helper is pretty bad. Hamburger helper works because it's HH. That's true. Turkey helper doesn't sound like it's anything. It's so fucking good, man. You know? When that cools down to where you can just scarf it down. Out of the pan. You know, <sighs> I used to do those. Oh, fuck yeah. You know what? I was a big out of the pan guy. The fucking rice aroni or those nor noodles. When fucking Took the di- words right out of my mouth. The nor noodles will congeal a little Ooh, bit. Oh, you can cut them with a knife. Eat like mm-hmm. eat them like a gentleman. Yeah, right out of the fucking out out of the Man, pot. That rice aroni <sighs> with the long spaghetti in there. The Vers- Versailles vermicelli. The vermicelli. <laughs> the vermicelli sound like somebody who lived next door to us. Sounds like mice. <laughs> the verm- Tony vermicelli. <laughs> I always thought it sounded like mice. <laughs> Vermicelli. I don't know what it is. Is it vermicelli? It's vermicelli, yeah. No, it, ver- it sounds like vermicelli Toyota. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to him. Huh? <laughs> but the savings are thin. Okay. Whoa. Hey, there's no bad ideas in workshopping. <laughs> that one was bad. I'm trying to get a campaign off the ground here. Uh, <laughs> um, all right. This uh, one's hold tr- on a second. That was a fucking home run. Home, no that, that was a fucking killer, man. Home run. Hamburger meat sounds so trashy. Shout out to Rabby. But I don't know what else you would... Yeah, it's hamburger. Ground beef. I know, but... Were your meatballs the... the, the I sp- didn't eat meatballs till about 28 years old. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't like meatballs? I didn't, eat, I didn't eat red meat for a very long time. God damn. Yeah, I'm a weird kid, man. Even I wonder why you're bald. You had no iron in you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, let's talk about Factor. Factor. Summer's going to start winding factor, down soon. Factor. Things are going to start getting busy. You're going to. You're not going to have a lot of time. You want to keep your your weight loss goals. You want to keep going to the gym. Mm-hmm. You want to keep eating right. You want to be fully prepared. A favor. Yeah. Get Factor involved. If you're having a quick bite at the office before a big meeting, or when you get home and you're tired, they have their pre-made, ready-to-go meals delivered right to your door. We love them. They're fantastic. I recommend the Marsala. Ooh, Factor makes lunch and dinner on busy days a total breeze. Their fresh oven, never frozen meals are delivered. Nice. Uh, ready to heat and eat in two mi- Heat and eat in two minutes, baby. Yeah. So you can fuel up and get back on track for the day. 
listen, this is no BS. We were factor guys before they ever yeah, thought we were. about advertising on the show. Big factor. They come to the house. You set them up at a bank. You throw them open. It's easy peasy. I love it. Shout out to the chicken farm. Dude, Kippy likes a nice chicken farm. They got a mash. Pro factor. They got a mash cauliflower. That'll knock your socks it's off. It's good. It's the right portion. You don't go over. It's Mm-mm. fantastic. Factor, offer, factor now offers 30 plus meals per week and 33 add-on options like Look smoothies, juices, snacks. There you go. Uh, something that got you keep you moving all day. New gourmet plus meals make eating at home feel extra special. I would put on a nice plate and feel real fancy. Mm-hmm. Light a candle. There you go. Um, they're made to pre- made and prepared to perfection by Factor Chefs and ready to eat in record time so you can savor the flavor, baby, and not stress on the prep. Yeah, it's real quick in a micro. Bucket. It is. Boom, ready to go. Not only do Factor meals save time, they also keep us satisfied, and the chef-crafted recipes are packed with extra restaurant-quality flavor. It's Delicious. so good. Uh, head to go.factor75.com slash garbage130. One more time. Head to go.factor75.com slash garbage130. Use promo code garbage130 and get $130 off Holy across shit. six boxes. Oh, no, we're not doing that. What are you nuts? <laughs> they're going to have to sell the cameras. Go.factor75.com slash garbage130. Use code GARBAGE130 to get $130 off across six boxes. That's, crazy. That's code GARBAGE130 at go.factor75.com slash GARBAGE130 for $130 off. The link will be in the description. Do it. Now back to the show. Back to the show. Our meatball, normally the traditional meatball is like 30% pork, 30% veal, 30% per- whatever. whatever yeah. the fu- no, no not, not the fat content. The, the th- It's three different meats. Okay. It's like, it's squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I know, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, our meatballs. For most of my life, Patty was just, they were just little, ha- they were just round hamburgers. That's how she did it with some breadcrumbs in it. Yeah. Same thing with her meatloaf, too. I don't think she chopped it up, mixed it up. I it was know. just straight hamburger meat. So you asked me questions about, like, did your mom do this? Did your mom? I didn't, wasn't eating a whole bunch of it, so I don't know. That's crazy. You know what I mean? Hit me with some chicken nuggies and some mac and cheese. Your bird door. throw out a decent meatloaf down there? Oh, yeah, except for one year she went vegetarian against the will of the whole family and put out a lentil loaf that almost started a revolution. Oh, man. Burn the witch. A lentil loaf. It's probably it was done right. It's probably not bad. And, and the word on the street is your mom's a pretty good cook. Probably does it nice. Those vegan foods are pretty good. They're sure. not bad. Sure. Um. Yeah, well, a lentil loaf is a tough look, I feel. Could be. Or Just call not. it something else. Yeah, um, they shouldn't do that. Like, they shouldn't. One time you we. You can't. Meet, first of all, meatloaf is a tough combination of words. Meatloaf. The only reason where it's okay. I think it rolls off the tongue. Is because we're, we're conditioned to hear it. You just put loaf on the end of anything else. You don't want it. Big 50s thing. Everything was a loaf. Yeah. Because the fucking husbands were working and the moms were all on pills. In the 50s? Oh, pills? yeah. Fucking, they were boop, boop, boop. Fucking lewds, meth, the whole nine Shout yards. Shout out to the Sackler family. Yeah, let's go. Ahead of the curve. <laughs> Sackler family. <laughs> Keeping the good times going, huh? <laughs> um, ah, oh, fuck, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. One Loafs. time we had- You we, have loaf on the brain. Oh, I got loaf on the brain. We had, um, we went up to Sleepy Hollow one time. We went to this vegetarian or vegan restaurant, and we had- uh, Vegan buffalo wings, which is tempeh. You know what tempeh is? It's like soy compressed say, together. Yeah, sure. It's awesome. And they were fucking awesome. And the blue cheese was awesome. And it was it was fantastic. Don't call it chicken wings. Yeah. Call it something else. Give it a, stay what it is. I understand. Buffalo tempeh. Sure. You don't need to convince us. Yeah. Like the fake burgers and all that stuff. Don't try to do that. Be who you are. That's what I said. Listen to that, kids. You hear that lentil are. loaf? Yeah, be who you are. Don't hide yourself. Have you ever used meatloaf as bread on a sandwich? Hmm. Ah, uh, listen. No. I'm not a big meatloaf guy. Oh, that was, a, that was a question just okay. for Foley. <laughs> I was trying to be polite. Are you talking that. to me? <laughs> it's a move I can see you doing. 100%. I've had a meatloaf sandwich in my day. Take two, take two slices of meatloaf. You have to do it while it's cold. So this is the next day. You slice it about the thickness of a Texas toast, okay? Then you put your cheese, your lunch meat, your pepperoni, whatever you have in the house in there, and then you do it like a grilled cheese. But you eat it with a knife and fork. There What's the next folks. question? I don't know. We got to take your blood pressure, I'm sure, though. <laughs> 
Or you just eat it cold, which is pretty good. Cold meatloaf the next day is great because it's nice and firm. Also reminds me of my dad. Like a cliff bar. Much. Wait, why? He used to just eat cold stuff out of the fridge, and it really oh, turned it's me off. the best. No. It's the best. Oh, Connor knows what's up. He eats cold, cold lasagna. I understand it now as I'm older, but, you know, I have a... I prefer it sometimes. Sure. Plus, too lazy to heat it up. Let's go. There we go. I ate, so, I ate some stir fry, some turkey stir fry that we got at Trader Joe's. Okay. That the bird made. Next day, it was gone. <laughs> right out of the thing. Ice cold. Picked up on that. Delicious. Um, all right, this one's from SCIR. Is it garbage to pre-weigh your airplane luggage on the scale at the supermarket? Saw two people doing this at Publix and immediately thought of you guys. What the fuck? You're stuck. Just do it there in front of the people. Yeah, but then you got a gym. What if you don't have, you know, what if you, what if it's too much or whatever? Yeah, then you'd take some Which shit is another out. garbage thing. If you're there, if you have oh, to open man. your luggage at the airport. I saw that. I've done it. And yeah. I, I, it literally almost led to a divorce. I'm not even fucking around. My my wife is going back to Germany with like a bunch of I forget what it was. Beatles tapes and blue jeans. <laughs> <laughs> They're real into Levi's. Um, I think she was here. Cigarettes and chocolate. <laughs> Trying to sneak them over Checkpoint Charlie. I think she was here for like six months and then going home before she finally moved here. And it was like she had so much stuff. And I was fucking, dude, we're there with like multiple, ba- and it wasn't like she came in at like 52 and a half pounds. She came in at like 88. So then I have, dude, I was, ca- I almost, take that microwave out. What are you dude, doing? I was like taking one shoe, leaving the other. Like it was a, it was a chaos. At the end. I was that guy sweating. That's a tough, but stopping at a grocery store on your way to the airport Listen, I is ultimate it. trash. I mean, we've bought in scales. I remember when you have one right here. Yeah, we weigh all of all, I mean, fucking Toby weighs the luggage every time we go on the road. There you go. That's kind of sad. That's the same scale you use the way me. But yeah, <laughs> I mean, we literally I literally bought that off like an at a farm website. There was a horse on the cover of the box. <laughs> Mules are us. Um, I thought that was going to do well. I get it, man. I, I, I you know, uh, I, it's not, it's definitely not classy, but it's like, yeah, I guess go buy a scale. But if you're going to go buy a scale, why don't you be like, I'll pay the extra fucking $50 and, you know. Who's, Can who's, you just walk in? Where's your scales at grocery stores? What, do you go to the loading dock? I thought There's the like one of those section. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where, the, what is it? Like, the, uh, maybe the, for like. Uh, by, the, by the candy? Like, what, like guess your weight? <laughs> maybe, maybe they have a guess your weight machine. I'm going to go 52. Trust in some um, carny? I'm sure for maybe like the recycle, a lot of places have like different, a lot of places outside New York and the region have other kind of things going on at the grocery sure. stores. Like the propane fucking tanks and the ice shit, outside. You know. Yeah, those propane tanks always scared me. Mm-hmm. Outside, all locked up. You put that shit in the back. I get so nervous hooking those up. Ooh, I don't know yeah. why. I've never had a bad experience, but I'm just like, man, this could go south. Oh, right. fucking blow your whole fucking everything off. Yell at my wife. Get out of here. You stand back. <laughs> <laughs> You hear that hiss? I get nervous too when I'm lighting up the grill and I smell the I smell the propane and the fucking thing's not going. And I think I got about point two seconds where I take Man, out the whole neighborhood. I've blown. I've I've had that blow in my face. Like it, I didn't. Oh, I had the lid. I feel like down. Oppenheimer. I had the lid down or something. Me and my friends were grilling at an age where we were drunk and shouldn't have been grilling. They're like seventeen or sixteen or something, and my buddy's like, I'm like, oh, let me. It was closed, so it all the gas build up. And then, like, I opened it. Fucking backdraft. <laughs> it was, dude. I opened it, and he had pressed it, and it clicked. Dude, we fucking hit the deck, dude. It, it, it was a fucking scene. Eating steaks with no eyebrows? Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good, huh? Shout out to Chad. We almost lost you that day, Chad. Uh, this one's from Jackson. Uh, is it garbage to set your car's clock set ahead seven minutes so you're never late? No. Do the same thing with the, with the oven. I love that move. I hate that move. I don't think it makes sense. You know who did that a lot? Who? She didn't set the clocks, but she would come in and say it was a certain time when it was really. That's different. 20 minutes. Ahead. It's already 730. Get up. You're going to be late. Yeah. You fucking wake up. You fucking panic. Fucking splash some cold water in your face. You run downstairs. Fucking good morning. America's not even on. Yeah. yeah. It's like fucking 630. That I get. A winner sets his clock ahead. So he's never late. I like that. That's I like not a that. Thing. Yeah, it is. No. You, you look at all the successful people in the world, I guarantee you the clock in their microwave is 15 minutes fast 
So they're out the door and at the meeting on time. No, if they're either you're 15 so you're minutes sitting, early or you're 15 minutes late, buddy. I am. Wait, if you so want to work, logic, if you, you want to work, if you want to work at this company, tell you right now. By this logic, you're late. First of all, you're late more than everybody. <laughs> by this logic, My it's microwave the microwave part. that makes. I got a microwave. <laughs> it's the microwave that makes them successful. Yes. If that was just regular time, they would just be like hanging sheetrock somewhere. Yeah. Well, no. I think a sheet rocks uh, quality job. I'm not saying it's gear. not, but I, w- I would argue that's not one of the most successful things. No, if most they, of my family hangs sheet. If rocks. you if you don't set your clock, fifteen minutes ahead, you're sitting around, you're smoking doobies, and you're playing video games. Okay, that's how it goes. Don't I you like do that. all of those things sometimes. And <laughs> you're high right now. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I'm hanging some sheet rock later. To be honest with you. My step, my stepdad used to do it, and it, uh, it always. Yeah, hold on. You ever see those guys that are really good at that? Sheetrock. Oh, yeah. My literally, God. most of my family are like <laughs> apers. <laughs> fucking yeah. Fucking put it up. And everything looks so clean. Mm-hmm. I wish I could do construction. Fuck That's it. my one cousin's I suck job. At that stuff. He doesn't even. Hey, he just tapes. He's a really good taper. Like doing the seams. Mm-hmm. He just goes in and just fucking. Once it's all hung, he's like. I guess the special, you know, hey, kind br- of get out of my way. Let me do Let me do my masterpiece. Hey, bring him in. He's down at the lunch truck smoking heaters, fucking rapping with broads. Right. You're up. Yeah. Comes in. Hey, honey. <laughs> Hold my Red Bull. I'll be back in five <laughs> minutes. I like it. Whoo. Um, this one's from Hit me. Phil McCracken, $10 yeah. board member here. Is it yes, garbage sir. if I'm 41 years old and my biological father is still paying me child support? Bonus garbage points for using the monthly payments to buy $120 in scratch-offs every month. Man, how's that legal? How's what legal? That you still pay child support when the kid's 41. Probably didn't pay it when he was 0 through 18, if I assume. And okay. He doesn't have, so he's owed, I'm making up a number, 50000 That's how it's done? Yeah, and you have to pay that back. You have to pay back child support. You have to pay so back. So he's owed that money. So if I had a kid... I believe that's how it works. So if I had a kid, didn't pay any child, wouldn't they get you eventually? Yeah, they got him. Yeah. So you hold it off as and long as you can. only afford $120 to pay $120 a month. So you have to pay that whatever it is. If it's 10 grand, 100 grand, 50 God grand. God damn. I like what he's using it for. That's good. Real yeah, fuck you to, to the old man. Down. What do you mean, fuck you? That's a retirement right there. That's no, a I'm thousand saying a life. fuck you to the dad. Like, yeah, I'm taking your child support. You never paid me, and I'm buying scratchers with it. What do you think about that? Yeah. Huh? I look at it more of it, uh, an investment opportunity. Yeah, it's smart. It's free money. It's smart. Why not fucking house let it money? Ride? Yeah. Yeah. Very garbage, but smart move. Mm-hmm. I like it. I used to have to be the middleman with the check. Really? You know, I'd be like, ask hey, your father about that check. Yeah. Oh. What's a big headed kid like you worth in the open market <laughs> in the 90s? If it was it more, was a lot. If it was more than 37 cents, I'd be stunned. It was, it was a lot. Things were going well back then. Yeah. For, for the fam. Yikes. And they all crumbled. Uh, and that payment still stays the same? Yeah. Ooh. Which, you know, can cause a little resentment. <laughs> Fat little fuck. Yeah. Digging in the lunch meat. This guy's 1200 bucks a month. Get the fuck out of here. This <laughs> fucking kid's uh-huh. eating all my goddamn goldfish. <laughs> uh, also, be- what did you call juice boxes? We were Sips, even though they weren't the name brand Sips. A high C. Called them High C. Even if they weren't High Cs? They usually were. Yeah. They usually were. I remember she tried to Get slip. Get me an orange Sip, and it was a High C. Do you remember those Adam and Eve ones that they had? What the fuck <laughs> <laughs> kind of freaky shit you got going on over there? What was it called? Adam and something. I think oh. it was Adam and Eve. Oh, but that was like the hell, Adam's Harvest or something. That, yeah, whatever it was. They were the they were, you you had you had fucking Adam and Eve. I would juice throw that in? shit out of the fucking cart when she wasn't oh, looking. The, it was like the organic whatever stuff. It, it, it was like no. a skyline or a farm. It on wasn't it? organic. It was just that, less sugar. That was the it was play. shittier. It was yeah, yeah, they sucked. Toby? Adam's farm. I got Apple and Eve. Apple, Apple and, and Eve. Eve. That's yeah, that, clearly that's it, Toby. <laughs> That's the that's the apple juice we've been calling Adam and Eve is Apple and Eve. Yes, Toby. Get this kid a raise, will you? Cross reference that, will you? Oh I want to be sure. Bozo yeah, fuck all that stuff. <laughs> He's gonna got nothing. Maybe an apple and Eve. We didn't get sips. The the ice the iced teas. Yeah. The sips iced teas in the black box. Those things cooked. And so we were we were our iced tea was Wawa iced tea, but we. 
called them. Si- I'll juice my. Well, dip- what flavor of sips were you getting? You know, we were getting high. We were getting high C juice boxes. Okay, but we called them sips. Ooh. Go get me an orange sip. Get me a fruit punch sip. Oh, like no. where Danny liked fruit punch, I was an orange man, oh. and we very rarely cross pollinated. Those orange, and if we did, headlocks ensued. <laughs> <laughs> And then he would hurt me, and then my dad would hurt him. It was a circle of violence <laughs> going on over there with the family. <laughs> all over a sip. That's all, what I like. all over me taking a fruit punch. Oh sip. man, I mean, my, I've ruined Sundays over a fucking kudos bar. Oh, fucking you just there was those days war. you just wake up and you're like, you're you you and the brother are just bumping heads. You're like, oh, this is. It's gonna turn it's, into something. This is gonna culminate at some point. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's usually right before dinner. They're cooking all day. It ruins dinner. Then you just have dinner and quiet. Then everybody cries and says they're sorry. Then you watch Married with Children and go to bed. We would get a lot. My mom would like give up, right? You know, at a certain age where she's just like, they're not, you know, we were just fighting. Sure. Um, you guys are what, three years apart? Four years apart. Four, five, four, I think. Yeah, That's close tough. to close to five. Maybe. That's why you're a tough kid. You that was a that was a that was a tough road to hoe. Five years difference. <laughs> yeah. He was a grown man at that point. <laughs> I think he was born in eighty two, and I was eighty six. So yeah, I think it was like four. Yeah, four, yeah. That's why me and my four, brother were eighteen eight. months apart. We were yeah, fucking no. neck and neck. No, no, yeah. He it was he always had the. <laughs> He always had the physical advantage. Um, See, that's courage right there. Knowing you're going to take a beating, you still <laughs> you still steal the fruit punch. Oh, dude, I never, I never. Fuck you, hit me. <laughs> and I tell you what, it was worth it. You're sipping the last sip. You hear the gurgling. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to pop it later. Um, that's great. Well, we would get the. Um, you were a high C family. My dad. Okay. Yeah. Was the P scoring juice boxes for you? No, that I can was see like her you make the iced tea in the pitch. No, Wait. maybe Capri Suns at a certain. Whoa, things a, were going well at a certain time period for. A, but we crushed those. Those. Uh, dude, the, if I was having a fucking peanut butter sandwich, I was crushing five fucking. I was crushing half a box of Capri. You squeeze it. Squeeze. I had strong hands too. Oh, that jerking <laughs> off. <laughs> fucking wailing on myself, dude. Capri Sun might as well. That might as well have been fucking platinum. There was no 6. way. Six point seven five ounces is the standard. I don't know why I know that. I've drank a lot of sips. <laughs> and you're a fat kid. Capri Suns, but we would get when me and my brother were fighting, and it was my dad's night. My my mom, he would come pick us up after work at like whether you know it'd be like four or six because like the ball. We after school we'd go back to my mom's, mm-hmm. and then on those days. He would pick us up after During school. the week? Yeah. Would you get dropped back off that night? No. He would take me to school. The, the next morning? morning. The next yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's just we, his house was like 10 minutes away or five minutes away from my mom's. Uh-huh. But public, we didn't want to switch schools. Sure. So public transport, like the public transport, I wasn't taking the L train. <laughs> Fucking the bus wouldn't take us to his neighborhood. It would just still drop us off at my mom. Okay, I got you. He would pick us up after work. Gotcha. Until the Danny and Sarah started driving. Whatever. We digress. But- when we got, we, we would be, my mom would be like, I'm fucking calling your father, which is like, like, it was like, was our equivalent of wait till your dad gets home. Oh, fuck yeah. Of but course. I, but we had the weird, I'm calling your father. With and, traffic, he won't be here for 15 minutes. But then he would pull up and that walk to the car, like he would pull up to pick us up anyway. So you caused some shit. We caused some she shit. Called she him. calls him at three. Your They're sons being are fucking fu- assholes. And then he's like, well, I'll be over at five or whatever. Woo! Man, that walk to that car, you're not sure what you're getting, dude. <laughs> it was, it, you get in, it would be all cool, and you're like, I want, this is going to go south. I prefer. Just when is it going south? I used to prefer the straight to violence. <laughs> of course, like, that's what you want. Dude, my- we would strategically sit in the car. To like, because I'm like, I know he's not going to clock. Minimize the pinches. <laughs> well, me and Danny are now on the same team. You know what I mean? We're like <laughs> my enemy's enemy. <laughs> exactly. There's bigger fish to fry than a fucking juice box. You know, <laughs> you got piano wire and fucking <laughs> <laughs> I'm behind him. Not tonight. Not tonight. <laughs> Throw flowers in it. Flower in his eyes. That's fucking wild. Yeah. Yeah. I remember I'm like, you get behind him. He won't be able to get you. Yeah, and he's probably oh, not going to exactly. hit me. I'm too young. Man, you can make a lot of room in those back bucket <laughs> oh, seats. It was a Jeep, too. <laughs> fucking, might as well have been in another fucking jurisdiction. <laughs> I'm an international waters dickhead. Good luck getting me. Nothing's going to stick. But yeah, I remember my dad coming home a few times. Looking back, this fucking poor guy. Fucking coming home exhausted. Fucking. And just. <laughs> and I would prefer when he would just snap. Just yeah, to get yeah, it out of the of way. Because sometimes he'd ice you for a little while. 
then you'd be waiting for him to make a move. And if he didn't make a move, you'd maybe start running a little lip again. If it was being discussed openly, well, he did this, and maybe, ah, oh, what the fuck? I didn't do that. And then, then you'd get one. Yeah, well, you're nuts. Oh, man. That's like, well, that's, that's like the jury's got, uh, the jury's letting you go, and then you chime in and be like, I also called her a fat pig. You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> that's a provoked shark attack. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what that is. You're nuts. <laughs> well, I didn't think, because if he didn't make a move early, you think, oh, he's not going to make a move. No. He's wise up. No, they lie in wait. <laughs> oh, they know. Man. They're just they're restoring their energy. You know what I mean? You ever seen a dad angrily eat his dinner after the family had eaten their dinner? Like he gets home later and he's eating his dinner and fucking can't even enjoy it because he knows he got to fucking do a little ass whooping after. Woo wee. Yeah, I think every, yeah, that's, that's fatherhood, I think, for most people. <laughs> States, or it was in the fucking 80s. Shout out to the 90s. It's a different time back then. Good time. Um, Man, that's a tough one. Um, all right, let's do one more. Then we got to get out of this one's. Uh, his Patreon name is Foley's Accountant, which if you're on the Patreon. It's this guy, you got to get a new account. This guy's screwing me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, have you ever run a garden hose up to the second floor window just so you didn't have to go down to the kitchen when you want to drink at night? What the fuck? Then in parentheses, this ends with the neighbor coming over a few days later to ask if everything was okay. That's nuts. That's nuts, man. That's like... Plus, I don't know about you. That looks you. like you're running a grow operation or something. Yeah, that's no good. The snow's melted on top of one spot of the house. <laughs> that's real suspect. Yeah. Damn. That's fucking... Must have been some good hose water. I'll tell you that. Shout out to hose water. Shout out to it. Fantastic. But I preferred in the middle of the night to let the water run in the bathroom. Okay. In the sink. And I'll tell you something else, too. Nothing gets colder in the wintertime than the water coming out of the fucking tub. I sure. fucking have, I've drank out of that before. That's that's like fucking Fiji water. Ice cold from the mountains. It okay. felt like a game. Do you go to bed with water now? No. Oh, what am I, in a sitcom? I did. But I'll tell you this. I, do you go to bed with, a, with some water? Of course. Yeah. Sh- you I mean, do? That's a Seinfeld bit. You bring a cup of water into bed with you? Well, if we're being honest, I have a... I sleep in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I, uh, I'll have like, you know, two-thirds of a seltzer I'm sipping on and put it on the floor next to my bed, probably. All right. I'll give you that. That's no, in the dirt that's ball insane, realm. That's insane, dude. How warm that is in the middle of the night. I love it. Sometimes... It feels some... like you're eating a firecracker. Yeah, but the, the, the bubbles go away and you can get it down quicker. I tell you, chat, you know what's really underrated? Flat soda. Flat soda is all right. Flat soda is all right. <laughs> What the fuck was that? That's it. Wrap it up. I, I realized You're how done. bad that was. Flat Sounds- soda is good sometimes. Okay. It's delicious. Sure. All right? I think that's okay. You're taking a glass of water to bed with you? Bottle, glass, yeah. Really? Every night. And you get what? very parched. And you wake up in the middle of the night and have it there? Yeah, or in the morning. Yeah, but yeah, I'll t- typically take a sip. You know what saved me the other night? That liquid IV. Cause fucking, I had one in a. I don't know if it did this week. I had that. I had it in a thermos, with that the ice cubes are still in it, and like, like my sure. girl's water bottle. And we went out to Bluebell Inn that night. I got all fucked up. Middle of the night, I woke up fucking just hung over and whatever. Opened that thing up. Oh, yeah. Fucking slammed it. Do it. Right back to night night. We gotta wrap it up, gang. We fucking love you to death. Love yous, baby. Come see a fucking live show. Shows are fucking, we're moving some fucking tickets. Moving some tickets. So get, They're good times and we're coming fucking a lot of spots. Yeah. Tell some friends. Share the show. We love you. Bring the bozos. Bring the homies. We love you. And we'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.